The brutal double stabbing in this Paris suburb overnight has left the law enforcement community reeling. A police commander and his partner killed on their own property by a man who'd pledged allegiance to Islamic State. Their three-year-old son held hostage during the ordeal and in a state of shock, according to police. We have never seen anything like it. It's the first time one of our colleagues was killed outside of service. Authorities are calling it an assassination. They say 25-year-old Larosi Abala, who was killed by police during a raid on the house, had said he was answering a call from Islamic State to kill targets at home with their families. They said he kept a list of potential targets, including the names of rappers, journalists, police officers and other public figures. Islamic State claimed responsibility for the attack. If true, it would be the first militant strike on French soil since the IS attacks in Paris in November that left 130 people dead. French President François Hollande. France, uh France is not the only country concerned, as we have seen in the past few days in the United States, in Orlando. But we've also seen it in Europe and other countries around the world. France is confronted by an extremely high terrorist threat. À une menace terroriste de très grande importance. And yet, Abala, who served jail time in 2013 for helping Islamist militants, was under police surveillance at the time of the attack. With France already on high security alert for possible attacks during the Euro Soccer Championships, many are wondering, how was an active surveillance target able to strike such a deadly blow at the very law enforcement that was supposedly watching him?